As the weather warms up, it seems like there's a million things you can do in Minnesota, and one of those activities involves scenery, history, and a riverboat. The same family has been running Taylor Falls scenic boat tours since 1906. The route they take along the St. Croix River is the site of some pretty historic events over the years. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson takes us to Chisago County, where the big wheels keep on turning. There are four of you. Mm -hmm. Turn line off, Adam. Yep. On the horn. For more than a century, it's been all aboard these river boats. Yet no matter how many times the paddle wheels turn or how many thousands of passengers have come along for the ride, the reactions never change. I love this. It's just so scenic and, and it's just refreshing to see the water and the trees. Seeing the Taylor's Falls Princess cruise along the St. Croix at about six miles an hour is a rite of spring in this part of the state. And boat pilot Ryan Romali has become part of the current of history. Do you ever get sick of this scenery? Never do. Never do. After 30 plus years, I, I, I enjoy coming to work every day. I just love the river so much that this is what I do. <laughs> he began driving these boats when he was 15, navigating them between the Minnesota and Wisconsin borders and giving a name. This is Angle Rock. The witch's face, you see the three points oh, there? Okay, yeah. To the rock formations that Father Time has so delicately carved. If you look off to the right there, you see how the trees have been kind of cut away? Yeah. That's the old man of the Dells, they call it. Ryan has an accounting degree, but gave up a cubicle and number crunching for a Coast Guard license and a history lesson. Before tourists came along, this was the site of a major news event, and it had everything to do with the 90 degree bend in the river. It was quite the problem for the loggers. This is actually why we ended up with the world's largest log jam here in 1886, was because of this corner. The jam was seven miles long, and logs were stacked 50 feet high. It was front page news in France, and there are pictures to prove it. I'm fifth generation, uh, coming back to help run the family business, and we are looking forward to banking in a few more generations. Dominic Radecki's great-great-grandfather started these excursions in 1806, and there are pictures to prove that, too. The boats and captains have changed over the years, and so has the St. Croix. The river is always changing. It, uh, we have islands on the river that weren't there 10 years ago. The river is almost a, a living organism. It's always changing, so it's always a little different. Spring, summer, or fall, passengers get to see that change during this 80-minute tour. I don't know why I'm drawn to like rocks and scenery with rocks and all the nature behind it. It's a place where the river speaks, and it has plenty to say. From a time when the riverways were busy like highways to now, when serenity and beauty are the reasons you get on board. It's great to meet people from other parts of the world, um, young people, old people. So I, I really enjoy that part of it, sharing the history of the valley itself. In Taylor's Falls, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Along the shoreline is a bike path often referred to as the Swedish Immigrant Trail. That's where many Swedish immigrants got off the riverboats and started their journey to build new homes in Chisago County.